Welcome back, everyone. This is Frank Demore, the author of the book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. I'd like to again welcome you to my YouTube channel and ask you if you would go over to my website to read much more news that you're going to see here just on the YouTube channel. But today, again, as I did yesterday and now almost every single day, I'm giving you updates on the birds, the fish, and the animals that are dying. This is part of Bible prophecy for the last days, a warning that we see from Hosea. And so let me turn over to Hosea and show you what's going on since yesterday's post, which was July the 9th. I'm going to pick up again on July 9th because there were other reports that came in on the 9th that I didn't report on yesterday because I didn't have them at the time. But I'm going to show you what's happened since yesterday from the 9th through the 10th. And if you are new, you'll come to my website and you're going to see the videos showing you these different reports. You'll see the headline like this for every day, making the updates for you so that you don't have to search for it. I'm going to have the links at my site so that you'll be able to click the link and read the entire article. And keep in mind, some of these articles are translated by Google because they're coming from different countries. But the bottom line is the reports are here. They're coming in almost on a daily basis, showing us that these birds, fish, and animals are dying off. Now, for those of you who don't know, there is prophecy about that, and let me show you where that prophecy is so that you'll understand. You could freeze the frame here and go to Isaiah chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. You'll see it in red, where it talks about with the beasts of the fields and the fowls of the heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. There's a lot of reasons why the birds, the fish, and the animals are dying off in large numbers. And there's a lot of reports, just like I said yesterday, that it is a mystery. Officials just can't figure out why so many of the birds, the fish, or the animals are dying. And of course, that theme, again, is being played out today. So this is where I left off yesterday, the last article in Peru that killed 12,000 apaca. So let's go now to the new news that came in, as I said, July 9th, after I made this YouTube video. Here we are in the Netherlands, July 9th, 2015. Again, as I said, mysterious mass deaths of eels. France, July 10th, 2015. Now the river that these 6,000 fish died off at, as you can see here, was considered the most nourishing of department. But now because of pollution, you have another 6,000 fish that have died off and pollution around the world is a major concern. In Belgium in 2015, July 10th, we see Brussels, why hundreds of dead fish floating on the surface of the canal. Yesterday I told you a large part of the problem was oxygen being depleted because the intense heat from the sun and drought conditions and of course those are conditions also that the Lord warned us about in the Gospels and in the book of Revelation. And here we go again where we see that the heat and the drought is affected so many of the fish here in Belgium. Now I'm going to keep the red flag up because these reports are going to continue to come in. And I can't tell you if it's going to be like it has on a daily basis, but more than likely that will happen because of the birth pangs that Jesus talked about are getting worse and worse. And so as they are getting worse, we're starting to see more of these reports from many different nations around the world. And if you want total information about it, you can go over to my website and here's a little link right here. You click the link, just scroll down, you don't have to turn pages or anything, just scroll down, you'll see the Dying Animal Archive from 2009, which I've been recording all the way to current of 2015. We'll start in January and you can scroll down, you can see hundreds of reports from all over the world fish, birds, animals that are dying off. This is part of the last day's prophecies and I'm hoping 
that people will begin to pay attention to what's going on because we are watching prophecy almost now on a daily basis in one form or the other. This is Frank DeMora from the End Times Research Ministry. Tell your friends about my website. Help me to help spread the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. His